Hello, I'm Holly, host of Dowdy Corners Cookbook Club, and today I'm going to show you how to froth drinking chocolate, Mexican drinking chocolate. And we're going to use three tools to do this. The first is a molinillo, pronounced molinillo. And it is an authentic Mexican tool designed just for this purpose. We're also going to use a whisk, which is a good stand-in if you don't have a molinillo. And we're going to use a blender, which is not at all traditional, but it makes a really great head on the drinking chocolate that I like a lot. So we're going to go through that process and I'll show you how it works. Um, for the molinillo, which I know I'm pronouncing horribly, if, it's, if you're whipping hot chocolate, you're going to want something that's heat proof, earthenware is typical, and you want the sides to be tall so that chocolate doesn't splatter out and about. But since we're using cold chocolate, I actually prefer the taste of Mexican chocolate cold, um, I can use this, which is a flour base, but that way you can see the whole process. So here we go. To use the Molinillo, pour in your chocolate. Place the round in. Put a little bit more in. The loose rings on the tool help to aerate the chocolate and prop it. And you roll the tool between the palms of your hand for about two minutes until you begin to see a nice froth. takes a while. Okay, you can maybe start to see some bubbles form. Whew. Oh yeah. And the whisking method. This is very effective. Simply whisk until you get the amount of froth that you want, and you're done. And the last method, um, using the blender, self-explanatory. Pour in the chocolate, and get ready for a very loud sound. Blend on high for a while. Frost chilled drinking chocolate. Oh, it's nice and frothy. You have nicely frothed, whipped, probably a better word, drinking chocolate. Mm. Oh yeah.